As it is well said, confidence and smile goes hand in hand. A beautiful smile boosts one's self-confidence. So to keep a healthy pearly white teeth, we are here at Nanjapa Hospital. This is Dr. Sharmishtha with eight years of experience. We welcome all of you. Today we would like to talk on an uh, important topic that is importance of oral hygiene. Few signs a body shows when you need to visit a dentist and a small demo will be given on how to brush your teeth. What is the importance of oral hygiene? If you don't brush your teeth, there will be bacteria in everybody's mouth. If we don't use toothbrush and brush daily, then this bacteria level goes up and there will be plaque formation which can lead to gum disease and tooth decay. Approximately 90% of systemic diseases is directly related to oral health. A person suffering from periodontal disease can have increased rate of fatal heart attack. So what is a periodontal disease? A periodontal disease is like uh, swollen gums, then bleeding gums, food lodgement. These are a few signs of periodontal diseases. A mouth infection can lead to respiratory diseases. So yes, it is well said that uh, oral health is directly related to infection and health of a human body. So there are few signs when you need to visit your dentist. These are the few signs. If you have gum recession, that is, if your gum have gone down, if you have cold and uh, heat sensitivity to for the teeth, if you have swollen gums, bleeding gums, food is getting stuck between the teeth, or uh, there are the sores that are which are not getting healed, then uh, few, uh, if you are not able to swallow your food, if there are some cement feeling which are not proper and you are not able to chew your food. These are the some signs you need to visit your dentist. Patients suffering from diabetes, blood pressure or asthma, thyroid, they need to visit their dentist in once in three months because the oral health, it shows the sign that there is some problem in your system going. So I would like to give a small demo on how to brush your teeth. Every house has a wardrobe essentials, then a hair kit, the same way, why not the teeth needs its pampering? Yes, today I'm going to give a little secret. Every house should have a dental kit. The dental kit which I'm going to tell today includes a dental floss, a toothpaste, a toothbrush and a mouthwash. So now why I have kept this in this arrangement is first we have to use dental floss. Nobody tells you, if everybody tells is brush your teeth, use a toothpaste. But the biggest secret to keep your good oral hygiene is use of dental floss. So what is dental floss? A dental floss is used to clean between the teeth. I'm gonna show this how to use on a patient. Hello ma'am, how are you today? Fine ma'am. Okay, so you brush your teeth daily? Yes. Okay, so do you know what is this? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, that's the problem. Majority of the people in India, we don't use dental floss. So whenever we brush our teeth, the first step always it should be using a dental floss so i'll just give a quick demo on how to use a dental floss so when you're using a floss you start from the posterior teeth that is the back teeth and you come to the front teeth so here you go i'll just show so that it is quite visible you have to put the floss the thread between the two teeth go back and forth back and forth remove i'll show in the anterior teeth okay once you put the thread between the teeth that is the dental floss give the motion of back and forth and just slowly remove don't push it into the gums your gums will be affected it may bleed this is the most essential step the dental floss this dental floss is easily available in any medical shop it is available in any brand that is sensodyne or colgate whichever suits you you can buy a dental floss we go to a second step that is using a toothbrush and a toothpaste so how much you to take a toothpaste we don't need a long layer of toothpaste only a pea sized toothpaste is much is more than enough so i'll give a demo how to brush your teeth ma'am can you show how you brush your teeth yeah just show should just show the method yeah okay okay Fine, thank you. Okay, so this is, I won't say is completely wrong, but yes, I'll show a technique. In this technique, all the surfaces of the teeth are completely cleaned and nowhere the food debris will be remaining. 
open your mouth mm. when you brush your teeth first you are going to brush your upper teeth that is the posterior start from the posterior teeth can you open your mouth when you are brushing your teeth keep an angulation of 45 degree to the tooth surface you're going to put the bristles between the teeth and near the gum line and go back and forth it should be very soft movement you should not do it very harshly otherwise gum recession can happen the gum can go up and the root surface will be exposed so the motion is like this you go near the gum line and just brush back forth back forth back forth same thing with the anterior teeth 45 degree angulation near the gum line and the tooth surface include all the tooth surface go back forth back forth back forth okay so once you are done with the upper teeth same thing with the lower teeth and then if you are brushing the inside this back side of the teeth the front part you should never brush like this you should always keep your brush in vertical angle and go up take a upper motion same with the upper teeth back side keep the brush vertically in a vertical angle and clean see i'm brushing with a very gentle motion not to brush harshly otherwise you can harm your gums so it should be done softly and the last step should be the occlusal surface that is the chewing surface you going to brush back and forth slowly this side upper side both the sides this is a proper brushing technique it should be done for 2 minutes and the last step of taking care of your pearly white is using a mouthwash mouthwash you can use at a bedtime before going to sleep after brushing your teeth every individual should use a mouthwash a non alcoholic mouthwash what you can do is take in a measuring cup take a 5 ml of mouthwash if a person is not comfortable with the taste of a mouthwash he or she can dilute it with the same quantity of water and use it at least for 30 seconds gargle your mouth with mouthwash for 30 seconds and then you are done so these are the three simple steps towards leading a good oral hygiene for healthy smile leads to healthy life today i would like to give some few tips on how to keep your pearly whites healthy so you need everybody each and every children to into adults everybody needs to brush their teeth twice a day for 2 minutes a person should use dental floss once daily and a mouthwash and a tongue cleaner is must people brush their teeth but they forget to use tongue cleaner a tongue is the hub for the microorganisms to flourish so a tongue cleaner is also must mouthwash is also important at least before sleeping a person needs to use mouthwash a person needs to gargle their mouth with mouthwash so that microorganisms gets killed and their teeth are healthy and white a swollen gum a bleeding gum when you brush your teeth if blood comes from your gums this can be a sign of diabetes then food lodgement and uh, if food gets stuck and there is lot of plaque what is plaque plaque is nothing but the soft debris that are seen around the gum line so this debris can go into your blood stream and causes cardiovascular diseases for a healthy pearly white you need to focus on healthy diet a healthy diet includes a lot of green vegetables a lot of fruits should be included in the diet after you eat your food you need to gargle if you don't gargle the food debris get collected on the surface of the teeth which can lead to tooth decay in children if they are newborn babies after every feed you can take a piece of wet damp cloth and just wipe the gum pads when the child is between 6 to 12 months of age you can see the teeth eruption at that time you can take a baby brush baby toothbrush and just brush the baby's teeth so that from the early age you give a child a habit of brushing his or her teeth from the age of 12 to 24 months or 32 months maximum number of the milk teeth are present in the oral cavity so at that time after the age of 2 years a very small amount of toothpaste should be taken on the toothbrush and uh, with the help of an adult a child's teeth can be brushed even the child should brush his or her teeth twice daily gargle after each meal for a healthy pearly white you need to control the sugar present in the food more of uh, fibrous food should be taken for example green leafy vegetables oats 
then fruits these are some of the healthy diet which can be taken to keep your he teeth healthy avoid eating chocolates in between the meals or sweets which are available which can cause tooth caries if you're having lot of sweets you need to gargle after each meal so now we saw a demo on how to keep good oral hygiene it's just three steps that is first use dental floss then use a toothbrush and toothpaste and then use a mouthwash so yes time is money but giving uh, but keeping your good oral hygiene will save money dentists are not expensive but neglect us if a person is suffering from diabetes a doctor says you have to control on sweets the same way if you want good oral hygiene it's very important to keep away yourself from some uh, bad habits such as smoking alcohol chewing bitter nuts it's really not good for your oral hygiene for uh, it can lead to lot of dental problems for any further details about your teeth you can visit nanjapa hospital we are always there to help you